Hello, I'm Julie Beischel, Director of Research at the Winbridge Research Center. The title of my talk today is Correlating Mediums Accuracy Under Quintuple Blind Conditions with Five Facets of Mindfulness. My co-authors are Dr. Lisa Conboy from Harvard Medical School and Mark Bakutzi from the Winbridge Research Center. In our research, we use the term medium to describe individuals who experience contact from the deceased and report the resulting messages to the living regularly, reliably, and on demand. The 20 mediums we work with in our lab have demonstrated the ability to report accurate and specific information about the deceased under various controlled laboratory conditions. They were screened and credentialed as Winbridge certified research mediums using published criteria. Originally a Buddhist concept, mindfulness has recently gained attention for both the public and the healthcare community. Debates are currently occurring in the scientific literature about what mindfulness is and is not, and its operational definition may be linked to and vary by domain or context. Generally speaking, mindfulness can be understood as paying complete attention in a non-judgmental way to the present moment's experiences. We previously collected accuracy scores from blinded sitters given to transcripts of proxy sitter phone readings for individual deceased people performed by 20 Winbridge mediums during 58 readings under more than double blind or quintuple blind conditions. The details of this protocol are outside my current time limits, but they have been thoroughly described elsewhere. Please see the conference PDF associated with this talk for more information. During the quintuple blind readings, the Winbridge mediums answered specific questions about verifiable topics regularly conveyed during naturalistic mediumship readings. The deceased's physical appearance when alive, personality characteristics, hobbies or interests, and cause of death. The 12 Winbridge certified research mediums who participated in the relevant portion of the original quintuple blind accuracy testing study were recruited for participation in the current study. The participating mediums were 11 females and one male. Their average age at the time of data collection was roughly 59 years. The accuracy scores from the medium's phone readings were correlated with their scores from the five facet mindfulness questionnaire or FFMQ. This instrument assesses five facets of mindfulness, observing, describing, acting with awareness, non-judging of inner experience, and non-reactivity to inner experience. It has been determined that the FFMQ has high reliability and is predominantly measuring trait rather than the more variable state mindfulness. Thus, it is appropriate to correlate individual mediums recently collected FFMQ mindfulness scores with their previously collected accuracy scores. The Winbridge medium's accuracy was positively and significantly correlated with the observing facet of mindfulness. Specifically, their accuracy scores for the content they provided when asked about the deceased's physical description, personality, and hobbies were significantly correlated to their scores for the mindfulness facet observing. These are shown in bold. Correlations between accuracy and the cause of death question with any of the five facets, as well as any of the question's accuracy scores with the other four facets did not achieve significance. Though the sample was not large, it may be appropriate to conclude that natural abilities in or intentionally developing the observing facet of mindfulness may be beneficial to medium's accuracy. Though mediumship is not specifically a mindfulness practice, it may function in improving mindfulness similarly to other non-mindfulness specific mind-body interventions, such as mind-body bridging and heart coherence training. Co-authors and I would like to thank the Winbridge certified research mediums who participated in this study, Mark Urban Lorraine, who performed the correlation analyses, the donors and supporters of the Winbridge Research Center for providing a place for this research to occur, and you for your time and attention. Thank you.